My Family Heritage by Hannah George. When I began researching um, my ancestors and how we got here, I found that George was a pretty common last name. We know that it literally translates to farmers, and that's what my family um, did when they first arrived. They often worked hard for what they had and um, really kind of just lived off the land. Um, from what my grandfather and father told me, we think that this side of the family arrived from England in the early 1800s. My maternal grandfather's last name is Kozlowskis, which was a little easier to find when I started to research. Um, my great uncle had done some research of his own in New York and found that my great great grandfather, Joseph Kozlowskis, came from Lithuania to Ellis Island in 1906. He had $14 in his pocket and was planning to start a dairy farm in Scranton, Pennsylvania. This farm, as far as we know, still operates by distant cousins of ours, and my grandfather remembers working at this farm when he um, was in his teens. Joseph Kozlowskis um, gave gave up his life in Lithuania for many reasons, we think. First of all, Lithuania had just gone through a really great famine in the late 1800s, and so we think that was one of the push factors that he had to come to America. There was also already a great population of Lithuanians living in um, the East Coast, and Joseph Kozlowskis we think came over and settled in the area that they were also. As I began looking at my own life and what influences have really impacted me in regards to values and traditions, I realized that my grandparents really had the most influence um, other than my parents on how I grew up and what traditions and values I had. Um, the bottom left-hand corner is a picture of my grandfather. He served in the Vietnam War as a um, pilot there and um, is currently living in Owensboro. Um, him and my grandma divorced when my mom was really young, so he did not raise her, although he was a part of her life. His influence in my mom's life really was um, kind of how to be respectful and just honoring everybody that you meet with respect. Um, my grandmother in the top right is is who my mom spent most of her childhood with. Um, she is such a strong lady and has really taught me about being independent and um, just loving the Lord and doing everything that I can for him. Okay, the first picture is my paternal grandfather, and the second one is my paternal grandmother, um, and they really have influenced me the most, I think. Um, both of them are super strong Christians and really, really worked hard for everything that they had and sacrificed a lot when my dad was growing up. And when my uncle was growing up, um, they actually only lived off one salary, and they were able to save the rest. So they taught me a lot about they taught me a lot about just what really making money is, and how that's not the most important thing, but just um, family and holding true to those values are. Um, my father and mother have also both had a huge influence on me. Um, they've been married for 28 years and we, they have done everything that they can to provide for my sister and I. Um, my father was uh, the youngest of two sons to my grandparents and he's really worked hard to provide for his family. Um, he really has taught us how, even though that life is not always fair, um, we shouldn't let that stop us from being a better person tomorrow than we were today. And my mom has also had tremendous influence on me in 
um, the traditions and values we hold true in our family. She has always taught us to be patient and kind, um, and that regardless of the situation, those two things should be evident in our lives. One of the vil- biggest values growing up um, in my family was the value of Christianity and religion. My great-grandfather was an ordained minister, um, and that's his name in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, and then my grandfather was an ordained minister as well. My father um, serves as chair deacon right now at our church, and Christianity is something that's been really important to me as well. Going to church every Sunday and finding a group of people to um, share life with and to hold um, me accountable for things and to understand what living the Christian life really looks like is something that has been instilled in me from a really young age. My family has also placed a really high importance on um, the value of education. My great-grandfather was an ordained minister and went to the Laurel Baptist Association um, for his schooling. My grandfather went to Union College and then went on to become an ordained minister. My grandmother went to Union College and went on to become a shorthand teacher and a typing teacher. Um, My father has two master's degrees and got a bachelor's at Berea, and my mom has her BA in sociology as well. Um, going to college and becoming aware of other things in this in the world and how um, things interact is something that's always been important to my family. They, my grandmother's parents had a third grade education, and so they were not educated and found themselves oftentimes being um, feeling like they were underprivileged because they didn't have that education. My um, grandmother was one of 13 children and although her parents were able to pay for all of the children to go to school, she was one of six who actually did Um, and she went on to get her rank one in teaching as well. Not going to college was never an option for me. Um, My parents were always pushed this for me because they knew that um, I would have a better life if I was an educated individual. My family has also placed a lot of importance on the family model as well. From a really young age, I can remember my dad talking about how even when nobody else is there for you, your family is always going to be there for you. The... My father still lives in the town where his parents live now, and also his brother. Um, So this has really given me a sense of how families connect and how much reliance we place on each other. Um, My grandparents were super willing to help me move into my new house and give me furniture for my new house because they knew um, that that was something I needed and they knew that I would be thankful for it and I knew that I could rely on them to help me out and situations like that. Since I've come to college, I've realized that diversity in my own life is present. Um, Not all of my friends look like me or come from the same family as I do. Um, We have different beliefs on the way the world works. We um, come from different socioeconomic classes and we all have different experiences. I've realized that Um, One of the great things about college is being able to surround myself with people who are different than me and who have had different experiences and learn from uh, things that they have to say. After doing this project, I realized um, how important all of the things are that make our family unique. Um, For example, praying before every meal or... um, We're making church that, making sure that we are in church every Sunday. Um, those things are something that makes me unique and um, has influenced the way that I have lived my life so far. Um, I realized how crucial my parents' upbringings um, influenced my own. For example, my father was, um, he grew up in a really diverse area where he um, went to school with 
different people of different races and different backgrounds and how crucial it was um, for him that me and my sister grow up in a diverse background as well. Um, I realized that it is so vital to know one's own culture and be comfortable in it and know why you believe what you believe, but also be able to respect others' culture um, and learn from their culture as well and why they hold the beliefs that they do.